Okay, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, Robert's Video Machine. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and like the video, I really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a hands-on, I guess a quick review or whatever. This is of the Launch C-Reader Elite. These are the OBD2 scanners for the vehicles. I just wanted to show you, um, basically in my case, in my video, um, in my car, you just find the port, plug it in and let's see what comes up okay so that's the initial screen I just go like a step by step I guess okay so I'm guessing these are touch screen yeah so you basically select start and then you pick your language go to the next step select your time zone and after you select your time zone then it'll ask you for your Wi-Fi information so let me go ahead and do that okay then after you set up the Wi-Fi something will come up like a QR code where you could actually see like the manual if you want to get it online and all that information and the next step is you provide your information here I guess to register the device and after entering your information then you just have to agree to the user agreement you could read right through it and see everything that is specified in it okay and then the next screen is I guess the main screen here and I don't know if you can see here, it looks like there's an upgrade available or an update available. Seven upgradable software. This is the first time I'm using it, so I'm just going to put it to update everything. Okay, I selected to update. And it looks like it is downloading stuff, it's saying it's successful. I don't know if you can see there. Let's just wait for it to go through. Okay, I just want to let you guys know it does install kind of slow. I don't know if you can see there the kilobits or whatever per second. Um, my internet is fast. I know it's a lot faster than that because I'm connected on the computer and I'm downloading stuff a lot faster. This is probably from the server end where you download these updates from. So. I'll let you know exactly how long it took to complete all of the updates. Okay, so the total time for downloading on my side was 50 minutes. And then this message comes up, so you just have to press OK to continue. And this is for the installation. Let's see how it says install. Let me take a look at it. Okay, just press install to go ahead and do it. Okay, and you can see here where it says app installed. You just hit done and then you go to the main screen again. This is doing some type of configuration. Okay, the configuration is being updated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a separate video. So this video is going to be only like on the initial setup. And you can go right through the updates and everything. And I'll do a separate video for the actual hands-on okay. so, there it goes we got rid of it right now so this is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated so now everything should be up to date this is the first time I'm setting it up there were seven updates that were needed it took around 50 minutes to basically download and get ready to install and probably like another five or ten minutes to do the actual installation and this is the main screen here so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here I'm gonna make this the initial setup updates and upgrades to the device and then I'll do a separate video with the actual hands-on so thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to Robert's video machine and then of course give me a thumbs up and like the video as well thank you